everybody. Hey everybody, it's Jim, and if you weren't able to hear me just a moment ago, I'm not going to know whether or not you were able to hear me until after the episode when I go back and look at all of this. I think I had my microphone muted. It happens. Um, that's one of the fun parts about doing this live, is that you never know exactly what is going to happen. Um, so anyway, as I said before hand we've got luke with us today luke wave to the camera again hi hi, hi. so uh luke is going to be working with us on a few of these projects because he really enjoys it and what we've heard is that people really enjoy having luke on the show and it looks like ashley's family is here hi ashley's family uh, we are about to dive right in and have a lot of fun today uh, again for anybody who's joining us my name is jim i am the host with us today we also have my son lucas who is my build apprentice he's done a really great job the last few days working with us on the projects and so we're going to keep him around for a little bit longer um today we have a very cool project that we're going to build this is called a newton's cradle newton's cradles are a device that transfers energy from one end of the apparatus to the other if you've seen them in the stores you know they usually have four or five uh, little balls hanging down that you drop one end and then it knocks the other side knocks this side knocks this side knocks this side you get the point anyway we're gonna start on this this is gonna be a two-day build so today we're going to get the frame assembled then tomorrow we're going to come in and we're going to finish it up. We're going to add the marbles, the string, get everything else put together so that the whole kit is ready. And Luke, uh, you, I, I haven't said this yet, you were busy playing Minecraft a few minutes ago, but you are going to be the one that does the build today. I am going to tell you what to do and you get to do it. Does that sound like fun? What? You want me to do this? Yes, you are, and you'll be fine. You'll do just um, fine with hold this. Hold on, hold on. My carabiner broke. Your carabiner broke? What? Yeah, like, look, it's like... Oh, it did. The spring came out the other way. That is very interesting. We'll have to uh, look at that after the show. So, <laughs> sometimes stuff happens. That is the the truth. And uh, so Luke's carabiner, which yesterday we made these... Uh, chains together. Uh, I think we were fiddling with it a little bit too much and it, it broke. Uh, let me see that for a second. So here's one thing that we we talked about yesterday is that uh, there it's a little bit better. It's still a little still a little weird. You know sometimes some of these builds that we do are challenging and they're hard and they do uh, they can be frustrating but what do we do when things get frustrating Luke? We just uh, we just try again, and so and uh, when I was younger, I played with Legos much more often. So um, with, when I played with my Legos, sometimes I make things that are really cool, but they're also really fragile. So um, one of my things that I built, it was like a swing that goes around, but um, it was only one pillar going up, holding them all up. And it kept breaking, so um, 
instead of just trying to make the same thing over and over, you can try to make it better. And building something new is better than making the same thing over and over. That's true. And so if you build something new, if you try something new, if you just don't give up and you keep going, that's how we get through stuff. And that's how we deal with difficult times like what we have right now. So here's what you need. If you are going to build the kit today, these are the items we've got laid out. Here's the actual list. You're going to need four of our L brackets. Those are the, the brackets we've used for several different things. S the six dowels that came in your kit, you're going to need those. Now, one thing I want to point out is that if you don't have one of these kits for, or one of these items for whatever reason, if you s assembled your own kit and you couldn't find the dowels or, you know, you didn't have the laser cut parts, it's okay to improvise. We're going to show you how to do it with the parts that we have. And, and if you can't make it work with those parts, find something else. Find a coat hanger find uh, a piece of wood from the garage you can do that these videos are recorded so you can come back later and make sure you've got them you're going to need four of the bolts and those can be any size short long whatever we need four of the nuts we need four pipe cleaners you're going to need both rulers today we're not really doing any measuring but then we're, we're going to use them for another purpose you also need two of your one by five brackets, two popsicle sticks, and your handy dandy roll of tape. Handy dandy, I said it again. One of those words I said I would never say that I say all the time now. So we're gonna dive right into the build today. And like I said, today is gonna be kind of fun because Luke is our build apprentice and he is going to build this project based entirely on the instructions that I, I give Luke today and I, I'll show you a little bit of what we're doing but I'm gonna let you be the one that actually does it so here's step one first step and and I'll show you and then I want you to do this Luke is that we're gonna take two of these and actually before we do that let's clear off our workspace so that we have some room to work get these things out of the way okay that's cool the first thing that we need to do is we need to assemble our frame for this. Now our frame today, we're gonna take two L brackets and we're gonna take one of our rulers. And this is, this is actually a lot easier than it seems. We're gonna line, once that we're building one side of our frame right now. We're gonna do this by lining up the hole on the very top with the hole on the ruler right here and you won't do this in your hand or on the table you'll do this in your hands you know you'll you'll be holding this like that but we're going to line these up and then we're going to drop in the nut and the bolt and we're going to tighten them together Wait, let me do this. and i'm going to let you do the whole thing dude i'm just showing you what to do and so we're going to make two of these they kind of look like a bridge when they're assembled so lucas here it is i'm going to put you in charge of this and actually Let's see if this camera works. All right. So, Luke, you are in charge of this project today. Now, that's blurry. That's very interesting. Do you want it to be all the way across? So, yeah, we want it to be all the way across, just like that. I got an idea. Since, um, since the table would be in the way from letting this go all the way through, yep. I'll hold it over the edge. That works perfectly. And so, again, if you don't have the supplies that we're using for the kit today, you can improvise. All of these things, if you don't have uh, the L brackets, for example, anything that will stand up will work. If you don't have the rulers, you can use your own rulers, you can use uh, a long piece of dowel, you can use just about anything that will hold it stable. That's the stuff that you need to do when we're doing things like this, is we need to, to remember that none of this has to be perfect. None of this has to be exactly the way that we do it. All right, so now Luke's got one bracket, and then... Now, I'm... Uh, are we going to do something else to make this not move around as much? Wait, I think I might. Yes, there's two right. things we're going to do. One is that if you hold the screw on one side and then you tighten it with the other, that'll get it tighter. And then there will be some steps we're going to use to make those a little bit more secure in the not-too-distant future. Is it going to be in our second episode of this? Um, nope, we're going to do it today, believe it or not. So if, if you are just tuning in and joining us, 
we are building a Newton's Cradle, which is a really neat uh, gadget to show you the transference of energy. Today is part one of a two-part build. So today we're going to get the frame assembled, and then tomorrow we're going to come through, finish it out, get it kind of uh, tested, because it takes a little while. This is, this is the most complicated build we have done. Now, if you are tuning in live, if you're here on Tuesday the 31st, the 1 o'clock live show you can throw comments in if you've got questions about how this project's going if you want to know more about what we're doing or want us to explain something or if you just want to say hi you can go in the comments either on our facebook channel uh, or you can go on our uh youtube channel and so both of those are options for this and we will do our best answer if you find us after the show ends you can still leave a comment and that's something that we'll try to answer later on all right, so Luke, you did a good job with that one. Now we need to do the same thing with the other ruler. So take your other ruler, take your last two uh, bolts and nuts, and you're going to make another bracket just like that one. Why is this one longer? You know what? That's what I had. So some of the, in the kits, some of them will have just a couple short bolts and a couple long bolts. It doesn't really matter for this one. So do I put it? Nope, we're making two of those. So take your L brackets, and we're going to make another one of those. So we have two matching brackets. I get it. He's now. got it. He's got it. He's got it. So we're making two matching brackets, and these are going to be the left and the right side of our cradle. And Newton's cradle, as the name implies, it's kind of like a cradle. The, the, uh, actual marbles will hang down in the middle of it and then as we've said a couple times on this episode you you lift one side up and when it drops it sends the other side off and then it just goes back and forth and you see that transference of energy one thing i will say about this cradle is that uh, it's not going to be perfect some of the ones you can buy in the store which are really fancy and high end they will transfer that energy almost 100% and it will just go back and forth and back and forth all day. This won't go all day, but it will It will work and it will be a fun example. Luke, how's it going over there with that one? It looks like you've got it going. Just, You're not having any issues at all. This is good. Wait, I could, um, I could get a, I'm a perfectionist, so I couldn't have, I can't just like have three of these like short and one. You're gonna one. have to. That's all we have. Can't I just put this in a different kit and take the, the short one out? We're live. We don't have time to go digging through other kits, dude. I know. It's a bummer. And you know, you might find that you don't have all the same size bolts, anything like that. Um, we improvise. We make do with what we've got. And it goes back to what we said earlier. You don't give up and you don't quit. Because we've got so much going on in this world right now that we really need to teach ourselves not to be quitters we need to teach ourselves that we can get through tough times because we're kind of in tough times so luke's got this almost assembled here he's got the second one going and it looks pretty good luke uh you just gotta make sure this is Jane with Orphans and Widows is here. Hi, Jane. How's it going? Hope things are going well for you. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks like you got kicked off and then you shared it. So welcome back to the crowd. Um, looks like John's here with us on YouTube's side. So uh, if you hear me uh, responding to comments that are live, I'm going to do that because I know that we've got some Facebook people who can't see on YouTube and some YouTube people who can't see on Facebook uh, the comments. And so I get to see all of them because I have the power. And I will... I need to get like an echoey effect when I do that. I have the power! Uh, and so I'll try to share those things so that as a community we can keep learning from each other. All right, so Luke, what do you got? I... I discovered that these things are portable. Look, I can just <laughs> do this and tighten it up. And nice. We're good. All right. Well, tighten those up. It looks like you've got both brackets. Now we need to start working on the next step. The next step is going to be to get one of these attached to two of those. All right, so you're going to take this and you're going to take that, and we want to have those stuck together. How are we going to stick those together, do you think? 
I'm trying to think about this. Uh, do we put the dowel through it? I have I have a hint. Oh, it's gaff tape. We use the gaff tape. So you should have a roll of the gaff tape in your kit. If you don't have gaff tape, you can use any tape. You can use duct tape. You can use masking tape. The thing that I like about gaff tape is it's easy to tear. You can tear it with your fingers. You can also, with the gaff tape, uh, it won't leave a really nasty residue. So, you, But you can use any tape if you don't have this particular kind of tape. All right, so Luke, what we're going to do is we're going to take the piece and we're going to take the dowels and we're going to go pick up the one that flew this is the fun of working with uh, a, a kiddo on your show. It's that you never know what's going to happen. Uh, so, Luke, we're going to take the piece and we're going to put it together just like so. We're going to lay your two dowels on top just like that. Yep, you got it. And then we need to make sure that they stick off the edges a little bit because this is actually a stabilizer piece. So this is one of those pieces that's going to connect two pieces together. One of these pieces that isn't uh, the best for a perfectionist. It's going to be perfect because it's going to hold everything together. So what we're going to do, Luke, is now I need you to take your tape and I need you to put two strips of tape that are wrapped around this. All right? What? That are wrapped around. Let me show you. So I've got a piece of tape and I'm going to take that tape and we're going to wrap it around this whole contraption that we've built this whole two dowels on a rod so that it holds it with the dowels attached to the rod with two of them sticking out so try that see how that goes Ooh, I, I almost got it perfect it's very good uh, I can't rip it I mean Scissors. Thanks, Shane. She said, "Nice bracelet." Yeah, we uh, we decided to uh, uh, wear the uh, the bracelets we made on yesterday's episode. If you weren't here for that, uh, we will have archives up. I was hoping to have them up today. It didn't quite turn out the way I had hoped, so we didn't have all the archives up. But we will have them in the not too distant future. So if you find yourself uh, saying, "Oh, I really like this thing they built," or "I saw," I want to go and watch. Newton's Cradle Part 1 again. We do have the videos saved on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook channel. Um, but we uh, we will have like the full build instructions on our website. Uh, our website is madenewomaha.com slash kit bashing. And so you'll be able to go there and check those out. Hopefully one more day, which uh, I'm also saying that in regards to the kits. I know there's a... There are 75 kit orders right now, Luke. Can you believe that? 75? Uh, I thought you could only make like 120. Well, so so we had enough to make 125 kits, and we sold 50 kits when we first started. And then uh, uh, Channel 7 News aired the story, and now we've sold another 75. And so, let me guess. Now everybody knows about it, and probably it. Yeah. The um, two million people in Nebraska are all going to want one. Well, we'll see. The thing that I don't know is is whether or not we'll have the uh, materials to make them because it's getting hard to find them. But uh, anyway, so here's the here's my creation. I made one. Luke, let's see yours. What did you make? Did it work? Yep. All right. So we've got those. Let me throw this one over here to you. We got that done. Now we need to make another piece sort of like that, except what we're going to use this time is one popsicle stick and one dowel. But it's gonna be the exact same thing where we lay the dowel on top of the popsicle stick and then we tape them together with a couple pieces of tape. You, sir, are my apprentice builder. You know how I know that you're my apprentice builder? Because it says right here, down at the bottom, it says apprentice yeah. builder. See right here at the bottom? I'm pointing uh. at that. Yeah, That's, I, it, it has to be true. Uh, it says it on the screen. You know, just like it says, I'm the host. That makes me special, I guess. So, so Luke, with you being my apprentice builder today, then you get to put these together. So, one popsicle stick, one dowel. And so, what we're doing here, if you haven't figured out exactly why we're taping these pieces, the dowels uh, are 
going to go through the L bracket assembly that we just put together and they're going to hold it in place and then we're going to use these longer pieces so on this it's the one by five bracket and then on this assembly it's going to be the popsicle stick and these are actually going to act as spacers that won't let our L brackets get too close together and they'll hold them nice and steady and then we're going to secure those and we're actually going to secure those with these guys with our fun pipe cleaners. Uh, pipe cleaners because pipe cleaners here's the thing they have a piece of metal inside of them and oh, yeah. the the metal allows you to shape them into all sorts of crazy shapes and then they hold the shape when you let go and so you can use these to tie things down we also have the option of using the twist tie material but the thing with the twist tie material is that it's um once we use it it's gone it's it's sort of like the tape although i will say when we're done with this project when you are completed and we've built the newton's cradle and we move on to something else you can reuse gaff tape you can unpeel it and in fact you can't see it but on my desk drawer right here underneath i actually have like 35 pieces of gaff tape that I've saved from projects that I just keep reusing over and over. The cool thing about gaff tape is that it's reusable, which is what I like. Luke, let's see how you got it. Did you get it done? Ta -da! Those look good. Here's one last one for you to finish. And then once we're done with that, we're going to start the assembly process. So again, this is going to be a two part episode because we are going to build the frame today and then tomorrow we're going to add the string to it and so we're going to put this string on it tomorrow and we are also going to put all of our marbles don't lose them on there tomorrow as well ha 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 ha, ha. i take advantage of every chance i can to do a dad joke so these videos um as i've said many many times we try to keep this series about 30-ish, maybe up to 45 minutes per video. We had a really long one yesterday, and so today's is going to be a little bit shorter. But as Luke's building this, you can see that it's not a super complicated build. The actual cradle part of Newton's Cradle is pretty easy. Um, hopefully... Is this, like, is this like the hardest thing it gets? Did you just cut gaff tape? Yeah, I've been doing that this whole time because I don't know what. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Oh, son. <laughs> I've been doing that this whole time. No, oh, I'm a disappoint. I'm a disappoint. This is my son, my my progeny, my my flesh and blood. Here's the thing, folks. Gaff tape. Now, Lucas, I want you to watch very closely. This is this is the big spool of gaff tape that, that came off. Now, this stuff tears super easy. That's why we include it in the kit. Now, if you're using scissors to cut it, it's okay. I won't make fun of you. You're not my son. Um, my son, <laughs> he should have seen. He's lived around me. I've had gaff tape in my home since before he was born. He should know how to do this. So with this tape, if you look at it, really really closely and in fact I'm gonna go over here to our desk cam so I can put this in front of the camera if you look really really closely and eh, you can't really see it on here but there is a very fine texture there's a very 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 fine texture to this tape there's actually a woven material inside it now the cool thing about this is that if you hold it so like see how I've got my finger here on this I hold it with one finger and then I tear with the other it tears apart and sometimes you gotta pull a little bit but you can tear this just like you can duct tape and there might be somebody watching going oh my gosh you can tear duct tape yes you can tear duct tape but I can I can tear that and then I can tear it into smaller pieces and smaller pieces and so on and so on but I just wanted to share that because if somebody's watching and and I'm really good at taking stuff for granted, and that's part of why I love having Luke on the show, because he doesn't take stuff for granted. Um, if he doesn't know it, he doesn't know it. And so then I get to teach you how to do it uh, in a way that makes sense. So, Lucas, you've got all of your pieces, right? Uh-huh. All right, so let me show you how to, that we're going to put First it together. This. Okay, you got that. All right. Now, just to give you some fair warning, when you're standing up, 
we cut off the top of your head and people can't see that golden hair of yours. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do, Lucas, is I want you to take your two big side brackets. So your side brackets have the two L brackets and the rulers, okay? So on the one that you're holding, I want you to put the big pieces, the ones you made with the one by five bracket, I want you to put those in the second hole. Now look, I've got a I've got a pokey stick. I want you to put it in this second hole down here. Okay? And then the other one will go in the second hole on that side. Wait, what? So yep, is just supposed to do this? Yep, just set it in there. This is the best do thing. Do I put it ever. like this or do I do it like this? I get to like run the show and he does all the work. This is awesome. What did you just say? I said you do all the work. So, do I put it through here? Yep, you just put it right through there. And let's see if we can make this visible to others who are watching. All right, so you put those through. That's perfect. Now, here's what I want you to do is I want you to take that other bracket over here and I want you to connect this piece to the other side of those two brackets. Wait, did you already make one or did you just take that one apart before the video? The one, what you're building is the one that I took apart, uh, oh. the one that I built. I took it apart. So what Luke is alluding to is that if you saw the, the thumbnail screen before this video started, or if you're on YouTube and you see the thumbnail on the YouTube uh, video, before I do a build every day, I actually build this. And we create the thing because it would be really silly if... I said, oh, today we're going to build something. And then we found out while we're shooting a live episode that it doesn't work. So we don't do that. I build everything beforehand. And then when we get on here, we do that. That might change someday just to give you guys uh, some fun uh, to see see what happens when we don't practice. But we always try to set this up. Uh, Luke, it looks like you got those on there. Yep, if you need to tighten those, that's good. Now, here's the next step. Look at this. I'll use the yellow one this time. I want you to take... Do you have an orange one? You're being so picky today. You want to go get a different bolt because one's longer. You want to go get the orange? No. So I'm gonna. you're going to take one of these, and it's going to go up here in the first hole. And then that's going to go to the first hole there. I really like this. I need to get something better, though. I actually... Oh, you know what? I do have something better. I have something... So before we cut the dowels down to put them in the kit, we have these giant dowels. And so I could actually use this uh, from a distance. I'd be like, Luke, you put this from here to there. All right. You're going to poke someone's so, eye out. And then you're going to take that and that. It won't be my eye, so I'm okay. Um, so here we go. We've got, the, we've got it set up. And if you look at Luke's setup here, it's pretty good, actually. And it's... Uh, He's got it set up, but that's kind of rickety. I mean, if I if I was going to uh, knock on this a little bit, I could knock it over with my little... Uh, I, I, I've told the kids there, uh, this actually has a name in German. It's the Wackenstieg, because it's for Wackenjö. Yeah, it's the Stieg for Wackenjö. Yeah. Um, hey, do it again to me. No, I'm not going to no, do it again, because now, now you know what's coming. No, I can't do no, it. I'm serious. Do it again. I really want it. I really want it. No, he really, he really, really wants to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. I know. All right, so Luke, here's what we're going to do next is I want you to take one of these guys, and I'll hand this over to you, and we need to make sure this doesn't move because see how that, like, falls apart? That won't work at all. Yeah, that won't, that won't work. Yeah, yeah, that won't work at all, yeah. We're a weird family, and I, I will admit, if, uh, uh, if if you tune in on these shows, and, and the whole reason that you're tuning in is to see uh, how weird we are, you are going to be thoroughly pleased with what we do. Attention, zombies! This brain has already been consumed by video games! All right, so Luke, here's what I want you to do. Take this one, like I said, and I want you to wrap it around this hole. I want the green one. Okay, use the green one. Wrap it around this hole, uh, so stick one end in the hole. No, you get take... Yeah the end of the pipe cleaner. So like, see how I'm sticking this one in the hole? Same thing, you're gonna stick it through here. All right? Hey, like this? 
and then wrap it around again. Um, yep, and so you're going to twist it together. So just like uh, if you're if you're tying it to something, like a twist tie, you take this and then you twist, 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 like so, to hold it in place. And it needs to be longer. So, yeah, make it as long as you need it and then twist that in place. I thought you were going to say as long as possible, and I was like, no. No, nope, just as long as you need it. And then once you've twist tied it together, then you're going to pull it to this other side. Um, oh. And so then, see what we're doing? Is we're going to pull it together. And actually stick it through. So this is something you might want to do on your builds if you're building from home. Instead of sticking it through the outside, stick it through the inside, Luke. Um, I already did. Okay, you can leave it for the outside. For the next one, it might be helpful if you stick it through the inside. It'll just hold it together a little better. So pull that tight. So now before you twist tie this together, pull this green so it's super tight. Not like not like crazy tight. We don't want to break it. But How do I... you untwist this. So oh, untwist that. And then you... That's okay. Because remember what we do when things are frustrating. We keep going, right? All right. But how do I make it so tight? So you need to pull it through. You need to pull. So. Oh, like this. So I need. There you go. There you go. And so pull that until oops, wrong camera. Here you go. So you want to pull that so that there's absolutely no gap between the two, so that they're nice and tight. Because that's what holds it all together. That's what keeps your uh, pegs attached. And that's also why it's a little bit easier if you go to the insides instead of the outsides. So and we'll, I could also tie this around here to stop to make it more stable. You, you really, you certainly could. Um, but we're going to get to that point. We're actually going to secure those next. So let's do the let's do this top piece right here. And then oh, I don't like this. It'll be fine. Don't not worry. It's not a job for a perfectionist. Yep. Well, I know, but it's, look, I'm here. I'm a perfectionist. You learned it from me. Our whole family is a family of perfectionists. I know. All right. So now take take one of these. Now poke it through on the inside instead of the outside this time. Let's see if that works. Ooh. And then twisty twist it. Twisty twist, like this. I'm gonna go to our floating desk cam so you can see a close up. So twist, yep, twist it in place. So twist, tie it together like we did before, and then twisty twist. All right, so then go through the inside this time of this one. Oh, yeah. This will make it much easier to... It will be, yep. And then pull it nice and snug so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then wrap it around. And you can, if you wanted to just wrap it around the post, you could do that around the ruler. But going through, you're doing it the right way. You should go through and wrap it around a couple times. That's the quote-unquote right way to do this. But there's no right or wrong. To, yeah. And I'll just put this right through here. There you go. Okay, now. All right. So now the very next step. How do we? S is see how look see how we have these yellow pieces this yellow one here. We're gonna do the same thing through this hole to this hole. And we're just going to tie it together. And by the process of tying that together, we're going to make sure that everything stays secure. I just found something that makes this much easier. I can tie this around this. Do you see how there's oh, like... Oh, I should have it on the camera so yeah. people can see what so you're there's doing. there's a little indent uh -huh. here. So I can put this around here. And... That would really make it easier. That would, yes. And so, so this is part of the stuff. You know, we like I said, we build this before the show. Um, but 
we figure stuff out as we go. And Luke is really cool because he knows hey, if something if I haven't figured out exactly how to do this, if if you know our gracious host hasn't told him uh, the way to do it, he can figure it out. And that's something that's really important. If you want to succeed in life, there are a number of skills that you need to have. One of them is being able to problem solve. One is being able to look at a situation and say, I have this and this and this. I don't have this or this. How do I still make it work? Or sometimes and, even knowing what you need is part of the process. And also, one thing about me is I know I know if you're doing this on one side, you're probably going to do the same thing on the other. Yep, and that is called logic. When you look at something and you say, I see thing A, therefore thing B. That's, that's logic. Because you looked at this and you saw that, oh, yeah, we tied this together. Well, we also tied this and this together right near those. So I'm guessing we're going to tie that together. You want to hear some more logic? Give me some more logic. So uh, one time I was talking with one of my friends and we, and we were doing some simple logic that do, that doesn't make sense like i'll explain to you what that what i mean so we i said so a long time ago in minecraft there was a glitch uh, there's this thing that made uh, all mobs afraid of creepers and a glitch with that made pigs fly and i said and we were, me and my friend were saying, by simple logic, why is this happening? So I was like, by simple logic, why do pig, why did pigs in Minecraft fly? Oh my. So, <laughs> Minecraft. Now look, there is somebody watching this video who is nine years old or ten years old, and that made total sense to them. But when you start talking Minecraft to me, just like here's the concept and it just right right over my head all right luke let's take what you got and let's see do you got it twisted together okay, yet i've got to pull this tighter oh, come on. all right so folks i'm going to show you what we've got done i'm going to show you where we're at luke's just about got this part done and now this is part one of the video where we got the frame assembled. Now there's going to be a few things that we need to finish to get the frame put together all the way. We're going to get those things done on tomorrow's episode. And then we're also going to add in the marbles and the string tomorrow to finish Newton's Cradle. This one, uh, we said from the outset, it was going to be a two-part episode. It's got to be a two-part episode because there's just too much stuff to do. But we're going to take a look here. And as my apprentice, Luke, I'm, I'm going to evaluate this. I'll we're going to We're going to see how, how this looks. And this is okay. You know, this... This is a little bit loose here, but we can actually fix that by tightening right here in the middle. And so if you're uh, looking at this, we can actually tighten these in the middle by just taking a chunk of it and then twisting it until it gets tight. And that'll make sure that we hold this together nice and strong the way that it should be. Now, these look pretty good up here. Those are pretty tight. Okay, so I would say cam. switch to the desk cam. Here I am. Uh, I would say, it, all things considered, you did a pretty good job with this, Luke. I would, I would give you, uh, if I had to give you a grade on this, I think I would give you uh, an A minus. I think it was really, really well built. You have everything exactly where I told you to build it. These could use tightened just a right. touch from from how you made it, but that's not bad. Everything else looks really, really good. And so we're gonna take this build. And then tomorrow, we're going to finish it. There's a few things that we still need to do. I don't know if you noticed. This thing can still walk kind of like a horse. And it's still kind I of horrible. I don't know. It's still kind of, yeah. It still kind of floats around. So we're going to solve that issue tomorrow. Once we're, I eat my lunch. We're going to add the string and the marbles, which I have in a cup here so I don't lose my marbles tomorrow. And we are going to take this thing to... Uh, completion. Hopefully tomorrow, when we have this set up, you'll be able to... Take one of the marbles, drop it, and watch the other side rise back and forth. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, 
This is, I'm your host, Jim. This is Lucas, whose back is to his camera. Hi. There he is. There he is. He is my building apprentice, and he'll be with us on several episodes. Um, one quick thing to say is that if you want to send me an email right here at the bottom, kitbashing at madeinuomaha.com. I love seeing the emails. I love seeing the builds. Send those things to me. Um, I I really like to get those pictures. I love to hear the stories. I love to hear about what's going on in people's lives who are watching this. Um, we have over 300 kids who by tomorrow night will have one of these kits in front of them and that's pretty cool um so you can send me an email i love to see those you can also visit our website madeinuomaha.com slash kit bashing in the very near future we're going to have all of these builds listed on the website um there's going to be some more details there and if you don't have a kit you can build one we have the assembly instructions we even have the laser cut files if you have somebody who has access to a laser to cut like the l brackets lastly if you want to visit us on facebook you can do that at facebook.com slash made new omaha and so that is how you get hold of us this is luke and actually lastly uh, i am starting my own youtube channel soon he uh, is so yes. it's called super crafter l and once I, and uh, I will start, uh, probably make my first video on that series, uh, first video on the channel pretty soon. Ow, 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 out of my shot, out of my shot. Yes, and so I'm sure that we'll have more stuff to share with Luke's uh, growing adventures and learning how to YouTube. Until next time, uh, he is Luke, I am Jim, you've watched Kit Bashing, we will see you on the next episode. <laughs>